let's create angular project go to terminal and new terminal here drive ng new application name client and let's select css and just for now let's enter no and our angular client project is created so let's run our application go to client and npm start here just press o go to browser we have default template here so you don't need this default content here so go to client and src app app component.html here remove everything add here router outlet only browser now we have nothing here in this tutorial we are going to using tailwind css and angular material so let's install angular material first here type ng add add angular slash material enter type s select indigo pink enter and type y enter now install another package tailwind css go to tailwind css get started and here framework guide we can see angular here just click and just copy these things and go to terminal paste it and here just copy this tailwind config js and go to tailwind config js control a and paste it save it go to here just copy this styles and go to style.css and paste it okay run our application npm start go to app component html and here just confirm our tailwind class text 5xl text rate 700 let's save it go to browser we have installed tailwind css let's verify our angular material go to app component ts and import mad button model and here just import mad button model from it angular and as button stick here let's save it and in app component html let's add button let's double click and here add mat button raised button let's save it go to here we have angular material button so we have installed angular material and tailwind css next let's build login form so let's kill our terminal Control c and y let's clear our terminal let's add new component for login here let's create our login component inside pages so ng g generate c component here pages inside pages let's create login component and let's give test first of all let's go to our app router.ts here just add path login and component 
login component save it let's run our application once again here just type login we have login org here just go to app component html remove it and we have login org here 